Mm. Thought for the day. Why in the bar industry can nobody fucking take criticism? I claim to make the ultimate sugar syrup. It looks like swamp water. Now I'm going to go and visit some of Barcelona's best bars where we are going to do a very little experiment. Make a classic drink with your sugar syrup. Make a classic drink with my sugar syrup. We blind taste with another bartender, whether it's good or it's bad. They don't know which drink is which. They just taste it and they pick the one they like. Simple shit, right? Let's get stuck in. <laughs> So what is the point of everything that I'm doing? I put myself out there, I put myself into public, so in theory, I should be able to take the hint and take the criticism. And the best way is with an experiment. I was gonna go to Paradiso, but I parked in a different place, so new bar. World's 50 best. So here we are in Dr. Stravinsky. Don't trust the guy who is filming this, please. But basically, you have to make two daiquiris, one with your sugar syrup and one with my horrible looking All right. Jesus syrup. I hope it tastes better than it looks like. Yeah, that's... <laughs> See you later. Love you. So well, let's head to Paradiso. They always have a bunch of people. Glad right. you didn't expect that shit. <laughs> Bam! We're gonna do an experiment. Okay. Let's go. Um, it's a <laughs> so we are in Paradiso. They did not expect this. Everyone's a little bit nervous. I've got my Jesus syrup. This is the horrible syrup. It looks awful. It tastes like a daiquiri. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Which one do you like more? I prefer the first one. Come on. For just for my own ego, for my own ego, Giacomo picked that one. I picked that one. <laughs> so one one. I hope. One one. Twenty four hours later. <laughs> All right, we are in Especiarium. I came back the next day because it was closed before. We're gonna carry on with the challenge. I've got the shit syrup. Finally made it to Speciarium. It's still sort of neck and neck, and now I have friends. On to the next bar. So we're super lucky that he let us in because it's the coronavirus and everything closes at midnight. Yeah. 
we, there's no bar critics. Restaurant critics have always existed. They've always been paid for by the sales of newspapers. But there's no bar critics. Everything is a giant circle jerk where nobody ever seems to be able to sell each other the truth. I can't even tell you how many times I've seen people high five people and talk shit about them behind their back. And I'm sure it happens about me all the fucking time. I, I think criticism is helpful. If you want to be a better bartender, bar owner, brand ambassador, you need to be able to surround yourself with people that are going to tell you the truth. Yes, not everything is always 100% correct. Yes, you have to take the good with the bad. And yes, you have to filter that shit. Yeah.